Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Stake Insanity. It's today is day 81 of my carnivore diet, and I, I wanted to make a video tonight because I actually really miss doing the daily videos. I know it had got, for me, it felt a little bit boring and like it was just, I felt like I was saying the same thing and then I was having to make up stuff every time, but it was also quite cathartic for me in a way. And I haven't really figured out how I want to do this. What's the right cadence for these? I feel like weekly is too far apart for me anyway. Um, but every night is too often, maybe. And I know just from the the little bit of feedback that I got from the from the poll that I ran, that most people seem to think either weekly or just when I had something to talk about was was the preferred cadence. So I might just try doing them more randomly and just talking about stuff when it comes up. I mean, tonight, this was the thing. I do have something else that I want to talk about as well. So I did have another alternative for that. So what are we going to talk about tonight? So the cadence, obviously, of the videos, which we've talked about already. I want to also talk about weighing myself and keeping track of my stats because, again, I've been struggling with weighing myself every day and that I feel the need to weigh myself every day. And I've been doing it because I'm more comfortable if I do it than if I don't. And it does enable me to just keep an eye on what's going on. What I've actually discovered, though, which I hadn't really thought about, is that my scale records all sorts of stuff. It records body fat percentage. It records water percentage. It records like bone density and all sorts of stuff. Um and what I've really started looking at actually now is I don't really care about the weight as much. I've now started looking at the body fat percentage as a better gauge of what's going on because actually the body fat percentage a lot of times doesn't have anything to do with what the weight is doing. So I've started to look at that as more of an indicator of where I am now and where I would like to be and where I started. So this will probably come out in some of the monthly updates as we move forward, but I just thought it was interesting. So I went back, and because I've been using the same scale the whole time, I have all the data all the way back to January when I started. So I actually went back and put in the body fat percentage for every day just to kind of see had it really changed at all. And on the 1st of January, when I, when I very first started, my body fat percentage was 18.9%. And over time, it's fallen. And today, this morning, it was 17.8%. So that's, by my reckoning, that's 1.1% body fat loss which I think is a reasonable number. And I think it's it's been lower than that. It's been as low as 17.5, I think, or 17 point, yeah. Yeah, 17.6. So 17.6 is as low as it's been. But that, funnily enough, wasn't on the day that I'd had the lowest weight. So again, it doesn't directly correlate to weight, which I also find is, is interesting as well. So there's a lot of factors at play with weight, and we've talked about that, and people have put it in the comments, and there's tons and tons of videos about it as well. And it's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't recommend that you weigh yourself and you use that as any measure because, again, as you exercise and you start to work out, then you maybe build some more muscle and you're getting rid of fat and muscle's heavier. So your weight could actually go up, but you're dropping clothes sizes at the same time, and it's all, it seems to not make any sense. So anyway, I'm paying, I, I am still weighing myself every day, and I am still logging all of my metrics and all my food and all the everything, but 
I'm a lot less stressed about it than I used to be, which is odd. Um, so yeah, anyway, so I'm focusing a little bit more on body fat percentage at the minute, which, which I think is probably a better one. And if you take it that it's correct or somewhat correct, I don't know where I want to be. Like, I don't know what a target body fat percentage is, maybe 12, 12 feels like a, a reasonable number. And I think that, I think that if, if I continue to gain a bit of muscle, so I am, we'll talk about that in a minute, but if I continue to gain a bit of muscle and lose a bit of fat, the, the weight number isn't going to matter, but it is going to sort of change the ratios, which will also help the body fat percentage come down. So my soft goal at the minute, just finger in the air for no other reason than to have a target to work towards is 12%. I don't think I'm going to reach that in probably 12 months. So I don't expect this isn't like some drastic thing where I think I'm going to do that in a month. I, d I don't actually expect that if I got 1% every, co you know, every couple of months, which is what it looks like at the minute. Um, that's good. I think that's a good rate to be working at, particularly if I'm not really watching that, that much what I eat. And I'm also working out in the gym and actually lifting weights. So that's another point. So I have been back. I've been a lot more active in the gym lately and I've changed what I've been doing. So you'll remember if you've seen any of the videos and if you haven't, I apologize, but I got back into doing a lot of cardio and running on the treadmill and really doing a lot of that. But I felt, I felt, I felt quite weak and I felt like I was getting not just, not that I was losing fat, but I kind of felt like I was losing a bit of muscle as well. And I don't want that. That's, that's definitely not what I want to do. So what I've decided to do is I've, I'm now mixing it, my workout. So I'm doing about a half an hour of weight training. And then I do a half, just a half an hour of cardio, but I'm not even running. I'm doing very slow, low heart rate um, cardio just to keep the heart pumping, to build up a little bit of stamina. So I'm hovering my, I keep my heart rate around 138 to 142 kind of in that area. And I just do that for half an hour. And I do it on the bike because it's much easier for me to control. So I know if I'm going a little bit, if it starts to push a little bit too high or I'm going a little bit too fast and my heart rate's going up too much, then it's easy for me to control to bring it back down to a level in that range. I think that's called zone two. So um, I'm just trying to keep it in that range and, but I'm still wanting to actually lift weights. And what I found when I've lifted weights in the past and, and what I'm finding this time as well is that when you go in and you work out, your muscles get pumped, they fill with water. And that's part of the healing process, you know, is, is you need the, the water in the muscles and that's how you get the pump. And that's why you look a bit bigger. And so some of the weight that's on whatever the number is in my weight it's going to be from just from the water for me working out and the muscles being more engorged and full. And that's totally fine. So I'm really happy and I actually feel a bit better now that I'm back lifting weight. So I have a couple of different, I haven't really decided how I'm going to split them up, but I generally do one day of legs. I do one push day and one pull day sort of, and then I do one day that's focused entirely on my shoulders because I had shoulder, I, I had an old uh, American football injury where I separated my shoulder and I had to have surgery on that. And it's, it's never been right since then. And so I have to do, I, I pay a lot of attention to my shoulders and I do some special shoulder workouts. So that was the other thing. So yeah, frequency, I'm going to start doing more videos. So maybe every couple of days, um, just to, just because I enjoy it, actually. I'm doing a lot of video stuff at work at the minute. So I am getting my, I'm getting my video fill. And I'm, like I said before, I'm kind of doing it in other places. But 
I do still want to keep doing these because I enjoy doing them and it's it's good for me to talk about. So hopefully I'll get back to a little bit better routine of doing more videos instead of weekly. Um, I am keeping track of my macros, but like I said, I am focusing now mainly on body fat percentage just to see where that goes and how that moves up and down and back in the gym. And then the last thing was I haven't signed the paperwork yet, but it looks like I'm going to have a new studio soon and that's going to be for work. And it's mainly going to be an audio podcasting studio that I'm going to run in Tunbridge Wells. But I will probably move my camera setup and, and all my setup that I have in here. If I have a small studio or an office that I can record in there, then I'll probably move all my kit there and out of my house, which means A, you'll have a new background. B, it'll be, excuse me, it'll be really plain probably for a while while I try and get things set up. Um, and I'll do these during the day instead of at the end of the evening um, all the time. But I'm really looking forward to that. It's a whole new uh, adventure and doing sort of podcast production and video podcast production and helping some other people out with their shows. Um, I've already got some some customers and some people that I'm helping and I love that and it's really good fun. So yeah, expect to see maybe a change in, in environment on my end into a, a new office and over the next couple of months I'll be working on kitting that office out and making it a little bit more comfortable and lived in and a nice place to work and then and then there'll be another studio that comes after that but we'll talk about that one later um, but yeah anyway so lots of stuff going on at the minute I appreciate this has been a probably a longer video than I intended in the beginning so if you're still watching thanks for hanging in there um, if you're new to the channel, please make sure and hit the subscribe button <clears throat> and, uh, and hit the bell so that you will get notified when I, when I do updates. And other than that, I think that's it for tonight. So everybody have a good evening and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.